Hey guys, good morning. I have my coffee. It is actually not too bad out here. I'm like, Phoenix in June is usually really hot, um, but yeah, it's not too bad this year. So I'm thinking this morning about the mystery of marketing and how much I've learned since starting my business five years ago. And oh my gosh, I, I have so much more to learn. Um, you know, I think figuring out marketing is tough for most entrepreneurs and I've seen people who say they've had great success with Facebook ads and Instagram and different social media platforms. Um, I've dabbled in Facebook ads. I was on Instagram for a little bit. I still have a profile out there, but I, I really don't. Uh, I really don't interact on on Instagram right now. I might change that. Um, but the one thing that has worked for me is referrals. Like honestly, that is where a lot of my business come from, comes from. And what's interesting about that is it's, it doesn't always come quick. You know, like you may do some work and then um, it's a year later. So I actually had that happen to me this week. Uh, about a year ago, I had someone reach out to me to come in and do some change management leadership work for a local international company. And I knew there was a potential of getting business from that. I did it um, with, without pay, was happy to do that. It was for someone who I'd been a colleague uh, with in the past. And you know, it was just kind of fun. I'm like, oh, this is cool. It's my way to kind of get my foot in the door. We'll see, you know, maybe something will come of it. Maybe it won't. And um, you know, I got a couple of, of contacts from that event and I thought, oh, well, you know, maybe something will happen. Well, it didn't. And you know, six, eight months later, I wasn't even thinking about it. And then uh, this week, almost exactly a year later, uh, someone from their Singapore office reached out to me, had seen uh, the video of the event that I put on. I did a, a speaking engagement and then I did a workshop afterwards and asked if I would be interested in doing two leadership workshops uh, remotely for Singapore. Um, we've got it booked, it's scheduled, I'm getting paid for it, and uh, I'm really excited about it. So I guess the lesson that you know I've learned and that you may wanna take away is, don't be too quick to judge whether or not your marketing efforts are working, and then think really about where you wanna spend your time. So um, that was a, a referral because there were you know reviews on the side and people talking about the the event and they got to kind of see me in action um, and then I also had a past leader reach out to me last week who I worked with I think two years ago and referred me to someone in their company to come in and do some consulting work so that's another referral that came through I will say the one uh, social media platform where I've had really good success is LinkedIn in terms of booking engagements and getting interest in my keynotes and workshops. So um, really be careful, I guess, how you pick your, <laughs> the platforms you're gonna spend your time on, where are your people hanging out. Uh, my choice is to limit where I show up on social media. So I really have um, three places that I show up. LinkedIn is you know, really the place where I make connections with other business professionals and share helpful content around two topics, helping professional women rise in their careers and then the change leadership side. Um, so that's how I use that platform. On Facebook, I have my Sparkle and Rise Facebook group that is for professional women. It's a closed group, uh, not monetizing that, just, you know, building a community and really bringing women together to support each other. Uh, it helps my brand. It helps get my name out there. And I love the, just the vibe of that group and I love the, the give back that that allows. So um, spend a lot of time there. And then of course now YouTube, right? Because I'm doing these videos every day. Um, so all that to say, it's, a, it's hard to figure out if you're new in this in, as an entrepreneur, give yourself some time. And um, I would say really focus on the, the referral side, that is where I found the most success. So um, give back where it makes sense. Don't do too much free work, but, but do give back where it makes sense. And don't be too quick to say that an event that you decided to participate in or um, a conversation that you had just you know didn't move the needle. Because you never know, a year or two from now, you might get some business. Hope you guys have a great day and I will see you tomorrow.